Hello, welcome. This is a small tutorial about Discord Bot Builder. This is for complete beginners and people who have absolutely no clue about creating Discord bots. So let's just launch Discord Bot Builder. When you first launch, you get this screen right here. I do want you guys to know that before getting Discord Bot Builder, it's strongly recommended to download Node.js and restart your computer afterwards. Otherwise, Discord Bot Builder won't function normally. After installing Node.js, um, you can create your new bot. So let's do that. Let's create a new project and get the, um, let's just name the bot for now, example bot. The bot folder path is where the folder for your bot is going to be. So I'm going to set this in Discord bots. Let's create the bot. The bot is now created. You have a small folder on your desktop with the bot in it. Here it is, example bot. So let's get our bot into our Discord. This is our Discord right now. Let's get try and get the bot in. I will be posting this link, discord.com slash developers slash applications. So let's create our new bot. You click on the top right here on new application. The link to this will be in the description. Let's name it example bot. Now we have the example bot. Let's go to bot and add a bot. Now the example bot has been set up. One of the things you should do to uh, avoid any bugs is always go down to presence intent and servers me server member intent and check those both on, both on and save changes. Let's go back to Discord Bot Builder. In here, let's set the bot token. We get the bot token on the website. I'm sorry, that was wrong. You go to your bot and you click on copy right here. You can also click on reveal token and copy that entirely. You paste the bot token into this and you click on okay. The next thing you could do is generate the bot invite. Insert the bot ID to get the manual invite. The bot ID is an OAuth2. This is the client ID. You can paste this in here and press OK once again to, to copy the invite link. You can just place this in your search bar, press enter, and here it is, example bot. You can add this to the server of your choice. As you can see here, example bot has joined the server. In the example workspace, you can see that there's already been a small command set up, which will do something. So let's try that out. You can update the bot.js file and update the blocks folder to update the bot entirely. Then if you click on bot and run bot, it will start running the bot. This will install some modules. Now that it's done installing modules, we can launch the bot. The bot's now officially online, so let's try it out. The default prefix that the bot has is exclamation mark. You can change this to whatever you want. So if you try exclamation mark, hello, it will send hello user. Welcome to Discord Bot Builder. So this is one of the example commands that you can use. Let me explain a bit on how this works. A command event is basically when I type hello in the command name, it will do something. So as soon as I type this, it will forward an action. And this action has been forwarded to send message. And it will send a message in the same channel of the command authors channel. It will send the text that has been added here down below. So let's move to a different workspace. Well, actually, let's just stay in this one to show you guys some more. So for example, if I would like the bot to join my channel, we can do a command text and then for example, join. Now, since we don't have the member information, member and user are separate. 
we get the member in uh, we get the message information we can hook that up to action and then a message to message this is the message that's been sent so this is exclamation mark join for example and let's select from this list I have to look for it myself message author member this is how you get the member now you get the member information which will hook up the action again because it's basically just a row of actions that you're going to be doing and you will get the let me look for it member voice channel this will be the current uh, voice channel the member is connected to now you can do another one behind that called join voice channel and then we'll do this so you could see this as a string of commands everything is in order and we'll first get the message author which is the member and then the member voice channel and then we'll uh, join the voice channel based on that so let's close down the bot update the bot.js file update the blocks folder and run the bot again depending on what you've added here it might install some new modules so let's join general and join join now as you can see the bot joined Now, since he doesn't have a real disconnect anything, you can hook up a new command. This is the wrong one. So if we do text again, and we, for example, type DC, which stands for disconnect. We can now do the exact same. Get the message information. The author of the message and get the member information and the voice channel now if you want that to leave we can type leave voice channel which are all blocks that are in the program so let's update the bot again the bot started up again and it's still on my channel so if I believe, I mean DC, because that's what I've set the command to. And it's a bit slow. Did I do something wrong? I did not. It will DC. Since I restarted the bot, it did something weird. So I joined it, and then DC, which will make it disconnect. So for another example command, let's get command. And you can also, in the command, you can set the different types of people that are allowed this. If you use bot owner only, you have to set the bot owners. This is your ID. You can get your ID by right-clicking on your name and copying your ID. This will make you the bot owner. You can also have the required permissions that you must have to do the command, if it's case sensitive or if it's on slow mode, which you can also put in a number in here, for example, 100, if the message is set to 100, message slow mode is set to 100. Now, this takes some figuring out because everyone is new. One of the things I do recommend is getting the block with text, which is a mod. You can get this in the um, description. I will leave it in the description. You can also get it in the Discord bot builder Discord and then blocks. You can look in here. If you do control F and then command of text, you can also find it in here. I will be posting it in the description as well. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get the command of text and any other mods from the blocks folder into your bot. So this one I have downloaded um, on the Discord as well in the blocks. Um, this one makes your life a lot easier since it literally gets everything you need to create basically anything, com any command. So let's head over to the Discord bot builder um, webs, uh, Discord. If you go in here and blocks, this will be all the blocks that people have created. If you want the same block I have and you don't trust the description, you can type command. I have to type command, right? Command, and then you have here, you can always get it from here. You can click on download and put that in there as well. Because I already have it installed, I'm going to be doing something else. 
So let's take this one right here. If you download it, it will download on your Google. So it's uh, shufflelist.js. Let's get go into our Discord bot builder. If you open the bot folder and then go to blocks, this will be all your blocks. So let's copy that in there. Now it is in our blocks, for example, bot, but it isn't in Discord bot builder. So you can click on open Discord bot builder folder right here, go to project and on blocks again and paste it in here. Now, if I have a block in here right now um, in the Discord bot builder, that isn't normal, basically, it's a mod. And I create a new bot, it will copy every single block from here to that new bot. Since I've already created a bot now, I have to copy it both in the Discord bot builder folder and in the bot folder. You do not have to do this if it is already in the Discord bot folder. All right. So let's restart Discord bot builder. Let's go into our workspace again. And now as I'm right, you can see the shuffle list command, which has been. Um, so now if we look in Panzer, which the mod has been created by, you can see here shuffle list. It's now a new block, which you can add. You can do this with any block. So you can download any block from the blocks folder and just post it in both of the um, both of the folders or post it in one folder if you're about to make a new bot. So this is my first and small tutorial uh, on the basic explanation on how to make the Discord bot. If you want to copy all of this, that is totally okay. Um, you can use the command with text or you can just use the normal command event and get the information with that. You get the member information, you can basically do anything you want. Um, I will probably be making a second tutorial, but this is just now for beginners. Um, I hope you guys fully understand what I did and um, that no questions are asked. If questions are asked, I will mostly be online on Discord. You can always ask me or Sushi or anyone else in the support section. A lot of people from the Discord are really supportive and will always try to help you.